Hey guys, Dr. Cunningham here. Uh, today I wanted to go over with you uh, the process of how we fabricate a screw indenture. And so I kind of have a, uh, a process here of all the different steps of what we do. So first we mill the uh, screw indenture out of this puck right here. You can see how that kind of fits right there. And so you'll notice that it's real white and it is kind of chalky actually. You can scratch this. So in this stage right here, it's pretty weak. It is literally like chalk. It is uh, just compressed powder is all that it is. So it's zirconia. Makes it really easy for us to mill. Uh, it does take us about five hours to mill this right here. Uh, so it takes a long time to do. So once we get it milled and we make uh, all the customizations to it, give it some character to make it look more natural, then we put it in an oven and we let it uh, cook and it cooks extremely hot. It cooks at about 1500 degrees Celsius and it cooks for a very long time, up to 18, 20 hours or so. And so you'll notice that it is very, very white here. Obviously that is not the color that it is going to be in the future. So it's also very large. So after it cooks in the oven, it's called a centering oven. It, uh, it actually shrinks about 20 to 22 percent and it changes colors. So then it comes out looking more like this. So this is just a little demo that we have to show um, how we customize the gum tissue here. And so we've done one side and we left the other side bare. So this is how it comes out. So you can see it shrinks pretty significantly. These are not the same uh, patient but it does shrink significantly and it changes colors. And so this is just showing how we have, uh, on this patient we had six implants and how that screws down into the implant. <clears throat> this is not an implant, it's just an analog showing how that would work, but this is uh, how we would screw in the screw in denture. It's just this little screw right here. It's very, very strong. This is a new technology that is fantastic and it allows us to make things much, much stronger and much, much smaller. This is called a Powerball screw and it is very cutting edge stuff. And it allows us to make, uh, make your uh, screw indenture very thin and very lifelike and it allows us to conserve all of your natural bone in the area. Um, so this is what a final screw indenture looks like. You see the tiny little holes. So this patient, we had six implants. And this one here is for a lower arch. We just have four implants. There was not a whole lot of bone, but we got it done and it's gonna look great. And I'm looking forward to delivering this. Uh, if you guys have any questions on how we do this, uh, we love answering questions. We love going over our protocol. All this is done in-house. We're very passionate about it. Uh, so if you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks.